Today we're going to be taking a look at the Union Dunk Low from the Passport Pack and this is the Court Purple colorway. I already have the pistachio pair for my sneaker collection, but we got one problem. This pair isn't for me. I was out at Untied LA and I saw they had the purple pair in my mom's size and I knew this was her favorite color, so you know what that means. I had to pick them up. So even though I want to have these in my collection, I had to make sure my mom was taken care of. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! On this channel, I love breaking down sneakers like this, giving you guys in-depth reviews, and telling you guys all about the history, nostalgia, styles, cuts, and materials. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. With all that being said, let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what these things is talking about. As you can see right here, these are called the Passport Pack. So it gives you that classic old school ticket like you were to be taking a trip. And then on here it says Nike Inc. Union LA. You got different information with the Splite coupon and the style code numbers and things like that. Union LA, different stuff like that all throughout the box. And then when it comes to the front end right here, you have the same thing. It says from Los Angeles to Beaverton, Oregon, which I feel like this is like, is this like a return slip or something? Cause I feel like it would be going the opposite way. Or like, usually it comes from Nike going to, I don't know, they got it all figured out. Let's not get into too many nuances of the box. Now looking at the size tag, it reads Nike Dunk Low U, I'm assuming for Union, Court Purple, White, Opti, Yellow, size eight and a half, just for my mom. Flipping open the lid of the box, you got that same kind of vibe of the Passport. You got your all over Union logo. Then you got the NYC right here, Berlin, Japan, different places like that. So that's a nice cool detail and touch when it comes to the paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay typically on this part of the video i go first impressions but i've seen this sneaker multiple times i want these in my collection i'm kind of salty right now but i'm not at the same time so to say the least i think it's a solid shoe not a 10 out of 10 but i'll give them a solid 7.69 now before we get into breaking down all the styles cuts and materials we got to talk about the history first union la is a store that originally opened up in new york and then a couple years later they decided to move to LA closed the shop in New York now they're heavily based in LA and everybody knows them for the crazy collaborations that we have seen over the past few years in particular but they have been a staple in the game for many of years way before we saw these collaborations with Jordan brand and Nike some of my favorite collaborations from Union have been the black toe Air Jordan 1 or the black Air Jordan 4 we recently saw both Air Jordan 2s drop and if you haven't seen that review I have it for you guys on my channel I'll make sure I try to link it for you at the end of this video but that was a definitely another shoe that everybody was kind of on the fence with and this one right here i feel like a lot more people like these a little bit more but i don't know i guess it's to each its own type thing let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section now starting with the bottom of the shoe you have your classic nike dunk outsole but this is a translucent purple and then you have your union guy right here in yellow just behind that and it also has this kind of honeycomb vibe that you can see throughout the bottom of the insole as well now going up to the midsole you got all white with the white stitch and then onto the upper all oh, the upper these are going to be exactly the same as the pistachio pair yet the colors are just going to be different so on that aspect when it comes to this pack of these the navy blue or the baby blue pair i forgot the name of those ones we have to look it up but either way those are all going to be essentially the same when it comes to the materials now let's look at the colors and we'll talk about the materials a little bit too all throughout this upper you have a ripstop material something similar to the air jordan 5 off-white that we have seen in the past as well and i'll show you guys some comparisons of the five next to the dunk that i did in the previous video but basically you can also rip this material off when it comes to the toe box the side panel and the back end and it gives you a whole nother color with that deeper purple behind it all throughout this upper you have a yellow stitch that really pops and that accents the logo as you see on the tongue right here a purple patch with a yellow stitch you have the yellow union la and then you have the nike here on the back end and another thing that the union dunk low is famous for as well is the extra pieces of stitching kind of just hanging all frayed off throughout the ends of the shoes some people do and some people don't like that let me know if this would be something that you may snip off with scissors or if you would just keep it the same and not really have a problem with it now going to the tongue these come standard with a pair of all white laces and an additional pair of purple laces to match the upper and the tongue is all white mesh we talked about the tab earlier with the purple and the yellow the sock liner has more of a satin kind of vibe to it i don't think it is i don't know it's just very fine but you have a purple material here and then you have a purple insole with the yellow nike inside of there as well another dope touch that we see right here that's in addition to this is the bag tag you can actually pop this off and this is similar to that so on here it says nike to union and then on the other side it's got the tag information and stuff like that so you can actually fill this out with your flight number and date and everything so that's kind of cool and a nice addition and we see that on all three pairs as well when it comes to this passport pack 
So overall, when I look at this sneaker right here, I think this is definitely a clean shoe. I don't think this is the best dunk ever, or I don't even think this is the best dunk from the pack, but I am a sucker for purple sneakers. So for that reason, I do like these a little bit more, but at the end of the day, if I were to only be able to pick one, I would probably go with the pistachio colorway. That's why I went after that one initially. But now that I know I'm giving this pair to my mom, I feel like I gotta get a pair to match with her. And then that means I'm gonna have to get the baby blue pair. Cause I mean, like I just gotta complete the set, you know, typical sneaker hair problems. So now that y'all know how I feel about this shoe, I posted a poll on my story to see what everybody else thinks about this shoe. I basically asked the question, is this shoe fire or trash? If you haven't already, follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. This is what they said. 79% of the people chose fire and 21% of the people chose trash. And I completely understand that. Like I said, I give these a solid 7.69, which is like low key roughly around the same thing that everybody else said. So in my opinion, I feel like that was a perfect score. But with all jokes aside, let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. What would you rate these out of 10? And what was your purchasing experience like? So did you want to get the shoe? Did you not want to get the shoe? Did you get the shoe and you not want it? Did you get the shoe and appreciate it more? Just let me know all the different feelings that you had when it came to this shoe in particular. I think it's a dope shoe. I'm interested to see what the value of it in the resale market and everything is going for it later down the line. I know right now these are hitting for a few hundred bucks and I'm not sure if I could say I could see these being worth you know, five or seven hundred dollars just right now, just because they're kind of lingering in that range. But just like any other shoe, there's definitely a chance that these could rise over time. And maybe five or seven years from now, the shoe is worth five or six hundred bucks. Also, if you guys want to see me pick up the baby blue pair and complete the set ish, kind of because I'd have to use my mom's pair, let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to grab those and add those to the collection as well. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Union, Nike, or Jordan brand collab of all time. For me, hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the black toe ones. All right, y'all, I'm out.